heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it's shaken by a mighty wind and the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up and every mountain and island was moved out of its place and the kings of the earth the great men the rich men the commanders the mighty men every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb that's verses 15 and 16. now the sixth seal okay announces the and introduces the day of the Lord for the great day of his wrath has come and who is able to stand verse 17 the prophet Joel confirms that the time of great tribulation and the heavenly signs precede the day of the Lord the Sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord and this reference is at Joel 2 31 so, the day of the Lord is actually the time of God's wrath, his judgment on any who have set themselves against him and actually to his people, against his people. So, it is the time of his judgment and punishment of the world for its arrogance and disobedience to his commandments. you to notice what happens when Christ opens the next seal that's described at Revelation 8 1 through 2 when he opened the seventh seal there was silence in heaven for about half an hour and I saw the seven angels who stand before God and to them were given seven trumpets now this is the time written about since the beginning of written prophecy and there's a reference at Luke 21 22 pardon me so even the angels in heaven are silent while Jesus Christ breaks the awesome seventh seal now what it reveals is recorded in symbols portraying the major events of the day of the Lord and the judgments and punishments of the day of the Lord are announced by actual seven angels blowing seven trumpets. Now the seven trumpets represent the totality of God's intervention in the affairs of man at the time of the end. So let's briefly look at the nature of the punishments that make up that intervention. So the punishments announced by the first four trumpets devastate the Earth's e ecology, if you will, mankind's environmental support system. A third of the trees are destroyed in the first trumpet disaster. A third of ocean life is destroyed in the second. A third of the world's fresh water supply becomes unusable in the third disaster. And it appears that the atmosphere is polluted and darkened in the fourth trumpet catastrophe and this particular references are made at revelations chapter 8 verses 6 through 12. so though many may pass away during these catastrophic events god is impressing on mankind that life on the planet exists at his pleasure if you will so as the apostle paul told the athenians in him we live and move and have our being this reference at acts 17 28 so god is reminding the world in the only language everyone can understand that he the creator of life can also take life again now the calamities of the last three trumpets are then directed specifically toward the inhabitants of the earth rather than just toward their surroundings and we look at revelations 8 13 and i looked and i heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice whoa 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 to the inhabitants of the earth because of the remaining blast of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound now god begins to actually punish people directly so under the punishments of the fifth trumpet men are not killed but are tormented for five months and their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man and this particular reference is at revelations 9 5 so then the command is given to the sixth angel who 